What's up everybody, Darth Dwayne here with another episode of Magic the Gathering Chandelar. I'll save again real quick. I know, I know, I'm obsessed with saving. And uh, there's one of the dungeons we'll end up doing, but uh, not right now. Let's see what's in these ruins. Plains. Let's see what crust he's got for us. A mana leak and a black amulet. That is great. We will take that. See where that's at. We gotta go up uh, northwest, so uh, we'll do that. Buy cards. Uh, not a huge fan of any of that, so we'll just get the swamp. Drop another save in. And start heading north. He'll tr no quest here. I'll trade green amulets for cards, but. Uh, we don't really have enough green, am green amulets to be doing that right now. We get a giant growth. Uh, actually, we don't have enough money to really be buying stuff we might not use. So let's uh, see if there's some more cards we can sell here. Definitely can get rid of the Ashnod's Battle Gear. Holy Armor can go. Jade Statue can go. Ivory Cup can go. Taskmaster. Stream of Life. I'll never use that. <clears throat> Probably get rid of the drain life as well. Alright, so now we've got some golds. I think I will buy the giant growth. We can even put it in our deck. And what we want to pull out here. Uh. Hmm. We'll ditch the wall of ice. All right. And oh, Hagler's coin. We want that. Uh, it's really good if you can get it early. So we're gonna go ahead and pay the gold. Another random event found a forest. The wise man's got a buff. Nope. Giant spider. I don't know if we can afford the two specified. And we don't have any gold, so we got to win some more cards. Uh, let's keep going. Actually, let's look at our map, see where we're going here. Perfect. All right, see if the wise man's got a buff for us. Cool, he gave us a free um, dungeon hint. So that's awesome. These are all great cards, and we're going to have to go after that dungeon before too long. See if he's got any cards we absolutely must have. Not so much. And uh, I'll go ahead and buy the islands. Drop a save down and we'll go get that mana link. It's going to give us two mana links pretty quick, which is nice. And, uh, ooh, another angry mob. Might not want to have to buy that. Uh, so far, angry mob's doing all right by us. It's be a nice little filler for this deck, and it's pretty cheap, actually. So we'll sell the wall of ice for money to buy the angry mob. Throw the angry mob in the deck, and we will pull out probably Clockwork Beast. Yeah. All right, we're about to get in a duel here, so I'm going to go ahead and save, because we were surrounded on all sides. And see if the wise man's got anything for us. Just a story, not really interested. Guardian Ghost. One white amulet. Reveal the deck of any green creature. Don't really care about that. But we did find a blessing, so uh, we can sell that. Elvish Magi jumped us. Damn Trixie Elves. Let's go ahead and duel him.
Kind of hoping we get a planes ASAP. Beautiful. All right, he's not going to have uh, swamps, I don't think, unfortunately. But, uh, so we won't be able to use our angry mob trick, but that's all right. Go ahead and get uh, the Thanolish Hero and the Tundra Wolves out. We will send our vultures over to poke them in the face. Sure, what he's got in his hand. He hasn't cast anything yet. In an elf deck, you'd figure he'd be casting some weenies. Get the angry mob down just for another creature. If he doesn't do something soon, he's not going to have a choice. These early duels, uh, we start with such low life that an early advantage can just translate to a win pretty quick. Hopefully full, pull a forest so we can use our giant growth to kill anything he puts down. Like that. We did not pull the forest to use the giant growth. I think we're going to send... The Banalish Hero and the Angry Mob together banded yeah <clears throat> alright if he doesn't do anything crazy we're probably going to win this game So if we send these two banded again and then send these two blocks one to the... Oh, we can't block the vultures. They fly. Maybe I'll just send the vultures. If we send these two banded together, he'll double block and we'll lose the Banalish hero and he'll lose one of those. We could put immolation on one of these to make it a 4-1. And that way, if he double blocks, and we still can't kill both of them. So, move is just to send the vultures. <clears throat> Giant spider, not what we wanted to see. Now we can't just send our vultures over to do damage. Triskillion. We need another mana so we can get that guy out. Uh, hmm. That's really too bad. If we get the Triskillion out, he's instantly dead. Or not. Stream of Life wasn't our friend. Alright, Triskillion. Fortunately, the vultures won't survive. Oh yeah, we'll have to use Immolation and Triskillion next turn to kill the giant spider. That's fine. That's not good. What we'll probably do is attack with the Triskillion, force him to block it, and then uh, use its counters after it does damage. So let's go ahead and put the Immolation on the Giant Spider. This is an older version of Magic where there was still a damage phase, so uh, we can do these neat little tricks like uh, letting the Triskillion take lethal damage and then still using his counters. 
so uh, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, perfect. We can use this count the counters to wipe out something else. Uh, probably one of these guys. That's great. So we'll wait till he does damage. Oh, I messed it up apparently. Oh well, let's still get rid of the giant spider. I forgot to put a stop on the damage phase. That's what happened. All right, now we got to do some damage in earnest because the Elven Riders are going to start coming across. Could send the Amro Kithkin. Uh, he could only block it to one of those Lanawar Elves. But uh, I don't think we will. Just save it. Oh, actually, the Elven Riders can't get across because the Wall of Fire can block it. Hurricane, not what we wanted to see. All right, so we're going to have to start trying to get tricky here. That doesn't help. Oh, perfect. Dwarven Warriors means we'll start getting to hit for two next turn. Fortunately now, we're not scared of the uh, giant spiders because we're not dependent on flying. There's a forest, so now we can actually giant growth. So, uh, can't kill him this turn, but we can kill him next turn. So we'll get in Dwarven Warriors, the Angry Mob. And we will send the Angry Mob to attack. And uh, unless he pulls off something crazy, we should win this game next turn. Oh, crap. That's something crazy. That's bad. Dang it. Well, we lost a pikeman. Not the end of the world. That was a lot of work to lose. <laughs> But we got our black uh, black amulet and a mana link. This guy's got stuff we probably want. These bees are pretty good, although we don't have the gold, and I'm not sure we're going to be able to get the gold. Oh, wow, blessing's worth a lot, so yeah. Might be able to buy that. Actually, how much we're not really going to have the green to take advantage of that so actually that would be a dumb dumb idea so uh, actually let's got to put a card in for the one we just lost unfortunately well it'll put a random card in for us until we fill that slot Any of this stuff we want to shove in there? Not really. All right. Well, that's done. So let's uh, let's go ahead and head north. That is one of the dungeons, uh, one of the where one of the wizards lives that we have to kill to win the game. We'll probably ignore that for now. Let's see what this guy's got for a quest: a black amulet. Where's a Lauren shrine? Yeah, we'll take that quest. Good cards, not really. Hidden by the plains. All right, let's head up north to the Lorne Shrine. See what's in this sunken ship. Island. See if the wise man's got a buff for us. 
Uh, just a hint about world magics. Vultures, all right, we'll put the vultures in in place of that uh, pikeman we lost. Not quite as good, but uh, something we could throw in the deck. And keep heading over here to uh, the Aloran Shrine. See what's in the boat. Another island. Yeah, another free dungeon hint. Can't complain about that. These ones aren't quite as good, uh, but we'll probably do it just for completion's sake at some point. Uh, not too happy about any of that. And we're close to the Lauren Shrine, so let's go get those free amulets. Green Wizard. Alright, so... Basically what happens is the wizards are trying to take over enough mana links to uh, cast a spell that'll take over the world and we gotta stop them. So this is telling us that the wizard sending a druid to attack Dandor's Sanctum. We may or may not be able to get there in time. If we can't, it just means we have to liberate the town. Not a huge deal. We just can't let them get too many mana links. Uh, see what's in this graveyard. We'll head over to Aloran Shrine. We get our black amulet. Buy cards. Eh, not too interested in any of that. We'll take the swamp. And let's take a look at the map and see where Andor's Sanctum is. Good chance we're not going to make it to Andor's Sanctum in time. Uh, so we will just uh, kind of head that direction anyway to free it once it's done and hope we can defeat that. Um, and that should be enough for episode two. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.